Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in the last episode, we increased our copper production, or sort of did. Um, we, uh, we don't actually have the copper because we don't have the belts for it, but we're going to try to um, try to mitigate that somewhat right now. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should just pick up the yellow belts. That's another option uh, for, for stuff because we have 143. That's not a lot. Uh-huh. So, yeah. It's working its heart off, that's for sure. But um, one of the things we can do is we can connect the module production. That might actually give us some, uh, some good stuff here. What are we missing? 300 some odd belts for construction. So let's try to aim for getting that many. I want to, uh, if we connect our module production modules, what they do is that they change how, um, they change how stuff works. They change different parts of how a machine works. Let's go ahead and, um, bring these down from yellow to blue. Um, so what they can do, they can either add energy efficiency or speed or free products. And of course, you know what my favorite thing is, is the free stuff. We want to get the free stuff going on here. So um, that kind of thing is um, very useful, very useful. Let's see, let's get these. Wow, there's like no blue chips coming down this line at all. This is, or no green, I mean, no, uh, no green chips. Ah, there we go. So this is red and green. We'll just leave the blues off for now. I don't think we actually need it at the moment because we don't have the higher level uh, circuits at all. So let me just, uh, I'm not going to copy and paste. I'll just do it manually again. make sure this one is the correct way. Yes, it is. Okay. Wait, let's see. One should be here, I think. Wait, that one is also going the wrong way. Oh, these are the one. Oh, yes, of course they are. These were the ones we copied from above and they got messed up. Yup. But that one needs to go anyway. All right. Um, there we go. Not here, but here. There we go. Green and a red. So these should get made uh, at some point. They don't have an outlet for the level one modules, but um, that we can just grab them from the machines for now, because in general, you don't really use a lot of level one modules uh, or maybe zero level one le modules. Um, unless, unless you are doing some like energy efficiency thing, which level one efficiency modules are the best to use. But I don't think we're actually going to worry about that at all. Like not at all. So don't worry about that. Uh, it looks like we are so starved for copper here. This is just horrible, but we have iron. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Let's get some more, uh, belts, 300 belts. Very nice. Let's take it uh, and we'll take the undergroundies as well. So now I'm hoping that that's an accurate count. Oh my God, we're missing like varying numbers. I don't know why this number varies. That I don't understand. Like, can you guys not count how many are needed? This should be the global amounts. And I know that we're missing more than it went down to like 76 or something. And that's like, nope. Game, are you, hello? <laughs> you know, are you giving us correct numbers? And no, you're not, of course. Anyway, let's take the train out here and uh, fill in those uh, those belt thingies. I didn't. I don't think we need anything else other than belts, as I recall. So let's just see. Also, let's check on the radar and see if we have all of this covered, 
that's an important thing. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just turn this to manual mode. And put the belts into the box. Alright, and see... Okay, it looks like we probably don't need any of these railroad tracks. I'll go ahead and put away stuff that we don't need. Um... Guess we got all that stuff already. Oh yes, and undergroundies looks like they need those. So let's give them splitters and undergroundies. Really good to have those for like uh, belt balancers and stuff. Really super helpful. Okay, there we go. And the pipes are ready. Good, good. We'll go ahead and just chuck the garbage into the back as well. Because we don't need those. All right. Uh, we don't have enough signals though. Why are we not doing signals, bots? Hello? They're, are, they are missing here. And also, let's get chain signals. We'll put them all in the box. Let's make sure that we can get all the signals placed. That's a lot of tedious work that I don't like to do as well. <sighs> Looks like they're doing some stuff. Let's see. Uh, let's check radar. So it looks like we don't have some of this under radar. Oh, because there's a radar missing over there. So let's just put that one in. There we go. Lots of belts going out now. This is very good. And we need the combinators too, it looks like. So let me make some of those. I don't... Are these... Which one? Arithmetic. Of course they're arithmetic. Yep. Okay, let's just do this instead. I will put those down so that the bots can take advantage of those. There we go. We have one for each car of the train, so you'll need like four or how many are here? One, two, three, four, five on the building train. Okay, so bots are doing their job here. Looking pretty good. What does it say we're missing? Many things. It's interesting watching like the little, the icons and stuff over there, like how like they're moving around. This is quite cool. Actually, I'm going to take a screenshot of this. I never, I've never done that before. Like I've never like, you know, moused over or hovered over this before because like, it's not, you just like, oh yeah, look at the numbers, but you never look at like the, the warning signs and stuff. That's pretty darn cool. So we are already generating copper ore as you see. Um, so that those need to be fixed. We don't have those working. Let me go ahead and grab just a few belts. Also, oh, we have way too many train tracks apparently. So we have no more belts. We have insufficient belts. That is not good. Okay. We're going to have to go get more. Okay, let's go get more. Bots can do their job. Let's go back home. There, and now we click on this train until you go back to the base so that this train can leave. Because this can't, train can't go, with, obviously, when the other train is in front, so that doesn't help us at all. That was strange that it stopped there. And that's also strange that that one is blinking. I need to figure out why that one's blinking. It might be just off placement or something, because it looks like the signals around it should be fine, but... All right, let's go. Let's go. I love the train system in this game. It is so fun to play with. Just really good. All right, time to be a Logi bot, traveling with stuff and things. Now, the one thing that we were supposed to do is start yellow science today, and we are definitely going to do that. Why don't why don't we actually do that right now? Oh, we can't do it right now. Right right now. Um, let's go ahead and I should have, what I should have done, is it, is it actually set up the Logi system here? It is. So if I deliver these belts to the outpost, they should, are they requesting them? Hold on. I need to check this because these things might be set for blue belts. Oh no, they're set for blue belts. No. Well, you know what we can do? There's an easy way to do this. Look, you copy this combinator, put it down. It has to be a real combinator, though. 
So let's make some combinators. And I'm going to place it down, okay? Then you can change it. Let's have 200 red belts instead. Okay, and then undergroundies will have like uh, 10, sure. And then these will have um, 10, sure. Okay, so what we're going to do, and that seems okay for the rest of this, copy it, and then go back to the station. Make sure you know which one to replace it with. So one with the blue belts. It's right next to the other thingy. And you... Uh, uh, mm. Shift. Why isn't it working? Copy. I think it's shift left click to paste over it. I believe it should be. There it is. Yes, shift left, left click to paste over it. Oh my god, why is this not working? Okay, let's... Um, hmm. Copy paste. Let me do this copy paste. No. Why is this not working? So I'm shift left clicking over the top of this thing. It's not putting it down. Maybe, maybe I need to delete it. But if I delete it, it's going to delete the circuit connections. There's, there is an easy way to do this. I promise you. But I don't know why it's not working. I'm shift. Let's see. Left click. Constant Combinator Ghost is in the way. Maybe it's already... No. Huh. This should work. This, honestly, it should... Let's try shift right clicking on this one and then shift left clicking on the other one. Is that the way to do it? I swear, sometimes this feels like really inconsistent. Like, I don't know why this is not working. Yeah, it's not working if I shift left click out there either. It should be copy this thing and then shift left click over it but it's not working and i don't know why it is a constant combinator so it's the same entity right i don't know this is just dumb we have to go and fix it i guess all right let's go and manually fix it i don't sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work i actually checked this with um with Tony and we were we were working on it together and it just wasn't working and you can see now the frustration that it feels like it's inconsistent because it should work you know I've done this so many times before but for whatever reason it's just not working and I don't know why uh, it's a bit weird how that is working or not working as the case may be anyway we've got a lot of belts let's go ahead and go and get this copper problem sorted out we're gonna get to yellow science in a bit i probably should have set it up but it's okay we'll just we'll just do what we can do here um go to here why is that one closed oh it's closed because okay well dude just go there please there we go Actually, it shouldn't be closed because it should be requesting stuff. So I need to check why it's closed. Because I think it's still, if it's still requesting stuff, it shouldn't be closed. Okay, go away from this manual, please. And pull up here. Yeah, for, I don't know why it's closed. If anything is greater than zero, like what is... Is there stuff that's not here? Oh, I bet I bet it's constant combinators that may not be there. Maybe that's what it is. Like we don't have any combinators in here. Let's try that and see. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's a ghost already. Let's see if that's the situation. I bet it is. Yep, there they go. They're placing stuff now. Let's see if this one ended up is this a ghost? Yes, it was a ghost. Oh, no wonder. Okay, let's try it again. Let's copy this. Shift click. Oh, and it still doesn't work. Dang it. Copy paste. There we go. You can copy paste, but shift clicking did not work for this. So anyway, we should be, it is open now. So let's add this as our very first building station. Uh, we'll do inactivity. Go ahead and unload stuff, please. Except stop. Wait, no, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, I hate this. There's no stop button. It's just manual. Like, eh. So 
So why aren't these working? I bet they're ghosts. I bet they're ghosts. Hmm. Let's put these in the box. It is so hard to tell, especially with like, oh, now you can see it better if we turn off alt mode. That's why. Okay. Yep. 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 That's, that's the reason. So they weren't updating uh, what was needed because they were ghosts. And that makes sense. So go around again, my friend train, go back, come back and let's deliver them some belts, please. And then we'll, we'll do our thing. Actually, we can't. We can't because there's no belt on the train. <laughs> I had it all in my inventory. So my bad for that. Okay, let's take out these, these, and those. And we'll unload things as desired. Yeah, so anyway, the um, the building train is really cool. Because when you... This is this is how many items we're currently desiring for, for things here. And um, I'm not sure why we're desiring 25 robots. Because we do actually have more than enough construction bots in the system. Oh, it's probably to have it in the chest. Because these are the ones that control how many we actually need as the inserters. But then there's like a leeway point uh, that we need as well. So I think, I think what we'll do is let's just take all the belts out and put it in the chests anyway. We'll put it in this special chest so we know to take stuff out of here. Uh, we'll take these out because I think those are done. All these things I believe are done. And then we'll just fill the train with all this stuff that is from my inventory. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Okay. I'm so used to having a mod called Squeak Through, which lowers the, um, the hitbox of items so that you can actually walk around your factory, not trip over everything. Uh, it's useful, very useful. Anyway, that should, I'm hoping, fix the belt problem here and get actually get us some belts into where we need them to be and so we can get some copper ore into the station. Uh, we need to connect the copper ore at the train station as well. But I want to set up yellow science first so that can get building, right? Okay, let's just um, let's just go. And the, the building train will visit again and drop off more belts if needed. Uh, we left the belts in the train, so that's just fine. We needed, oh, we need to fix this uh, situation with the power poles. Looks like it. I'm going to copy this array here and add the power poles this way instead of running along. That way we'll just get the bots to place them. Bots are so great. Once you get them, they are absolutely magnificent. We love them. We love them very much. Okay. Undergroundies, belts, splitters. Good. Okay. Let's turn on. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave the, the, the railroad tracks in one of these boxes. So it's uh, closer to the train station. Oh, that's not that far away, but it's okay. Anyway, let's keep on going here. And what we'll do also is get maybe some uh, speed modules. I'm sure we have some of them done, even if not all. Let's get this going as well. Connect these lines downward if we can. Uh, so then we have not very many. We have uh, one. Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's get yellow science hooked up. That's an important um, step in science for sure. No, not malls, not malls. Yo, science. You want to go? Oh, dear me. Science, here we go. Okay, so production and high tech. Really interesting to put this down. This is a lot, as you can see, a lot of stuff going on here. So we'll just go ahead and put it around here ish. That should be fine. We're going to go ahead and probably delete this belt here because this is the one to take it on to the uh, car science, which we don't have that right now. I think we'll probably put it in boxes and then uh, just robot it to car science. But we want to work on yellow science specifically. So I'm just going to go ahead and help the bots place some of these things uh, to make it a little bit faster. Oh, whoops, we have no power poles. We probably have no anything. Yes, we have red inserters. That's all we have. Oh my God. Uh, let's go ahead and do a thing called putting a robo port down here and making sure it gets built. And then we'll connect the various products up here and make that actually work for us. 
I hope we have some extra robo ports in the thingy because I'm kind of worried that we won't. But we'll see. We've had such a shortage of green chips, it's been really, really rough. So let's collect. We need inserters. And I think I'm going to take these off the, the, the hot bar. We're going to put these on the hot bar. And let's see if we have any robo ports, please. Let there be at least a couple. Yes, there are. Good. Five of them. That's that's decent. That's good. We'll get some power poles as well. Yeah, filling up the train manually is kind of a slog. It's not great, but but it does um it does work. Okay, we'll go ahead and how many do we have? Let's put in like a hundred power poles. I really shouldn't take two hundred from the box. I'll put them back. I'll be a good person and put them back. The bots are already traveling to do some of this construction. I just don't know if the entire thing is covered. So that's why I wanted to go back and get some robo ports. I should have just checked, but it's okay. We we're going to go and get it. Oh yes. Almost the entire thing is completely covered. So that is really great news. We'll go ahead and put this right over here, which is perfect because we'll probably have the science coming out of the here and then we can definitely get stuff placed. So, um, let's take these power poles down and just get those connected so that whatever can, uh, can be, you know, connected and all the stuff. So first thing we have is, um, these are low density structures. So we're going to get these things connected on here. We need both co uh, copper on both lines. Maybe we should do one up above like this or something like that. And then plastic on one and steel on the other. Okay, so let's do here, do this one for the plastic. Actually, this is a good opportunity to see exactly how far stuff needs to be from each other to work. Okay, and then the other copper line is, would be here. Oh, wow, that is actually perfect. So how many, this is one, two, three gap. All right, that's good to know for future dealings with stuff. So a three gap is what we need for two adjacent lines. All right, and this one will come from a little bit further away. There and there and plastic, good. So those are gonna get done. Now, blue chips, I don't think we've actually put blue chips on the bus yet. So this might be a little bit harder uh, to get for now. Oopsies. Auto save, I blame you for that one. So, uh, what we do need to do though, is we need to take up probably this one. And I think it's going to be this one actually that takes the blue circuits up because that one, yeah, is concrete. Yep. So let's take this one down. Okay. And then we need to put in a radar in the middle here because we don't have vision over this area here, which is definitely not ideal. Let's put that there. Okay, good. So that can give us more vision on how this works. Uh, and we actually, we can add the blue circuits right here from here. Let's see, where is the concrete is right there. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Unupgrade this, I guess. Yep. Unupgrade, unupgrade there. Okay. So concrete is there, meaning we need to add a thingy here, there. Oh, we don't need that. Okay, we can just do a, there we go. Okay, so blue circuits should be on their way down on that belt there. Okay, and it's the furthest one out from here. So we're gonna work on that over here though, because we don't need those higher level thingies right now at all. And usually with uh, high level materials like blue circuits, which are very expensive, I usually do them on a half a belt, right? Because I don't wanna waste stuff being on the belt like belt storage of this stuff. We don't need it. And it's just a lot of extra stuff that is not good. Okay. So this is our out belt. This is another in belt though. 
and we will continue. We need to extend the bus a bit, looks like. Let's do this from map mode. Always easier on map mode just to hold shift and press the down arrow key and uh, just get those, those things in place. So we can do, let's see, we need green circuits. That's going to be coming in here. Actually, we'll do the three up. Uh, we have three spaces between. So if this one goes here, which is steel. This one is going to come from here. One, two, three, right? Three spaces in the gap. One, wait, one, two, three, four. No, it should be here. Need to learn how to count that better. Okay, so red and green circuits is going to be right there. Let's start here by just doing a three, this, that, this one, that one, and then red circuits is here, two, and one. Okay, there we go. That's that one. And then we need stone bricks and steel so we do steel first this is great now that i know this i haven't known this like the whole time so that's kind of awesome to like discover stuff you haven't like known for ever uh oh all right so this is going to be interesting this is different we need to have this one here that one goes there which means we have the bypasses here and there Okay, so that's just fine. We ran out of undergroundies, unfortunately. So let me also just do this thing, which is fine, like that. We'll just copy these as well and figure out where we need to go. Okay, so steel is coming in this line here. Okay, and in with rocks, pure rocks, okay. Oops, no, not there. Okay, that's fine. And then this is just iron. Cool. It's an easy one to do. Okay, and that's all we need for that part of it. And then the sciences. Let's go ahead and segregate these sciences here. We want to put in... Let's see, we probably just need filter inserters. And we need to filter them because we want to have the, you know, we don't want to fill up one box of, you know, with, with one and the other one can't get in there. So you always want to have separate boxes here for these kind of things. Uh, and those can just fill up until they're done filling up. Hooray. Let's put some more sidewalk down here. Actually, we can copy this stuff. Yeah, sure, create blueprint. Just go in this mode and we can just, there we go. And then this other part here, we have this sidewalk, which is a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna copy a smaller chunk here. Sure. And that can also be put in place by the bots. I don't know if we have bricks in a box, but we can. And then the bots can place those uh, those things down. Okay, so we set it up. That's the important part. Now we can go and figure out what else needs to be important in our build, which is probably going to mean green circuits. Do we actually have stuff going on here? No, why not? Because we have no filter inserters. That is not good. Uh, also, we need to make sure that this stuff gets deleted. Um, yeah, we have no filter inserters. Uh, let me check why. Uh, at least we can maybe get some placed. Why is it so dark here? Is it is just no lights? Did I forget to put lights in this blueprint? dear. I put them in a lot of the other ones, like the uh, sciences and all that stuff, and apparently I forgot to put them here. Sorry about that. I will try to fix it. All right, let me add that to my list of to do. The list is actually getting so long now. It's like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> see lights in boutiques. 
There we go. Yeah, it's getting to be like one of those, oh my god, I don't wanna. Help. Help. Put that here, maybe. Okay. Alrighty, so things are going. Why do we not have filter inserters? We're missing green chips. Okay, let's just let it make some and I'm going to collect them. And we're going to put these very specifically where I want to put them. Uh, and that's it. That's all we got. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's enough to unload the train. All right, we'll probably do what we could. Well, technically we could dumb them down and just do regular in fact maybe i should do that i'll do that i'll do regular filter inserters which i have plenty of okay i was checking i was like oh we don't have any of these of course we don't have any of those no we don't nine 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 all right what we're gonna do is we're going to we're gonna downgrade them from this to that okay and then we're going to upgrade them uh, all right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to put them, place these guys here. And that is designed so you can do exactly that. Just put the inserters down in a line. Okay, and now what we're going to do is upgrade them. Uh, let's go ahead and choose the upgrader planner for these. Yes. They aren't doing anything, are they? Does that work? No. Okay, we need to change them the other way around now from these to these. And that will basically tell um, the game to just upgrade them when it can. For now, I'm going to go ahead and put one on each car if we can. Wait, oh, there's an extra pole there. That's inconvenient. So that's not good because these need to be connected with wire. If there's a pole in the way, I need to check that. Okay, copper uh, train extra pole on back car. I want to see if that's part of the blueprint or if I messed that up. So what happened here? Okay, this is set filters. Let's just make sure everything's the same. These have tons of copper. And why is this not getting done? Because this is missing. Oh, wow. We're not, we're not making any combinators. So basically, all the combinators are missing from the, uh, the areas here. So what I'm going to do is I'll put those in a storage chest uh, once we get some. But I wanna, we need to definitely unload the stuff here. Okay, come on. Make green chips. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm making green chips. This is terrible. There we go. Woo. All right. So this stuff is coming out here, which unfortunately we don't have a solution for at the moment. Now I need, I would love to have some bots on me. Let's see if we can find some construction bots. Let's see. Are there any there? Nope. There are not. Let's put the combinators in the storage chest so that they can be placed. And I need to find more bots. Those are the wrong bots. No, where are these bots? Where are they all? Where do they live? Don't know where they live. It's a bit like, where the heck are they? Uh, and I haven't gotten any from the network either because we have those high limits on what we want in the network. So it's like not giving me any. Are there any? No, there's there's none in, they're all doing stuff. That's the problem. I was gonna get some personal bots on so you can actually see how that works, but it's okay. It'll be fine, we'll fix it. It'll be, it'll be just fine. Uh, oh, but we do need some undergroundies. Also, if you like the way I talk and wanna use the KOS technical terms, feel free to do so. There is a mod by Teapot. Thank you, Teapot, for writing that. It's called KOS Technical Terms. Uh, and it's all about using, um, you know, better language through Factorio. Yes. Uh, all the thingies and stuffs and technical terms and all that kind of stuff. It's great. So, and if you think of any more KOSisms that you want to add, feel free to say so. So, uh, all right. So this is what we currently have. Yeah. Also, we can probably put in a... 
a little just a thingy here with a chest I kind of want to limit this chest so this is annoying that I don't have one but it's okay we'll we'll fix it so let's see what we need to do with copper is other thingies right so copper needs to come in say here like this something like that I'm just going to use max distance undergroundies for this just use their full potential basically all right and we're going to just do some with the bots here there's also a very nice um, blueprint that I have in my thingy. It's under the quick belts thing, which is belts and balancers, then quick belts. Wait, where is it? Where? Belts quick. There it is. Okay. I sometimes put that on my hotbar. So this will give you different right left orientations of the various uh, things that we have here in groups of four. So let's see, that one is this one. There we are. Especially corners. Corners are, they can be a pain in the socks. So that's why we have this quick belt thingy. Okay, and then let's grab the undergroundies from here. And just put them over here. All right, cool. There we are. All right, and now we can just copy this thing and belt. Just have a lovely belt. Um, oh, okay, this is fun. All right, that's a bit different. I didn't realize these were in here. Okay, so that's four going on that way. The others may have to go in a different way, but that's okay. We are getting our four and that's what's important right now. I'm going to just right now connect these individually uh, because of the stuff here. Um, actually, what we might want to do is here... Let's just have the connection here first. Let's try that. Because that is where we really need to make stuff happen. There. Like this. Okay, yep. That's what we need. And how are these divided? This is like weird here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we go in here approximately. And we'll go ahead and uh, input priority from the the right side, from this side, from from the base. Uh, and I think that's going to be better. Okay. Okay, so first belt connected. Perfect. And then the other belts, they can pretty much just go straight across, I think. Oh, that isn't the first belt. Shoot. The first belt is up here. Err. Okay, let's um, change that. Change that slightly. Okay, from the right. And this is our sidewalk, which we no longer need. Completely don't need that anymore. Oh, whoops. No, that's not right. That is not right. This is what we need. This, there. Like that. That's what we need. Okay. And then this one is going that away and connecting there. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is the one that comes from here. Uh, let's see how we want to do that. Could just do something like this and like that. Here we go. Second one connected. Okay, very good. And then the rest, I think, are going to be simpler because we can just take them straight across, basically. Uh, here. So this one goes there. Oopsies. No. Stop it thing. Uh, whoops. Not there. Not there. 
this one to there. Again, input from right. Yeah, these are not even happening over there. So this, I think what we'll do is take this down a little bit. So that we can have a this like here thing. There we go. Input from right. Okay, so the bots will place all of these different things down, especially as we've run out of undergroundies. And uh, then we'll get stuff happening. They are placing these very slowly. Oh my god. The bot speed here is super slow. Let's see if we can do any bot speed. Let's see, speed. Do we have robot speed? Yeah, we go. Worker robot speed one. Let's put that one in. Let's put in two. Three needs yellow science. So we'll go ahead and add this one. I don't know why double clicking on it didn't work there. But anyway, they will go faster once we have robot speed. Uh, actually, robot speed is one of those infinite sciences that you can do. And uh, you can make the robots super, super, super fast at end game if you're willing to do the space science and do the whole mega base thing. So, all right, we are doing really well right now. As soon as we get any yellow science, so the first yellow science, we're going to have to hand deliver. And that's a bit of a shame, but it's okay. I mean, it happens. We, we just need to, and it's a thing. So, um, but after that, um, we will be able to have the chests. So right now it's a temporary situation with the delivery of the science. Let's just put some of these machines in. Really want to get this yellow science going. So that's on this side. Yep. Let's get all this other stuff here. Oh, we didn't put in these things at all. Oh dear. Okay. Let's get some undergroundies because I don't trust the boss. They're too slow. Okay. So we did actually, so you can see they're moving a little bit faster. Um, that's good. It is good. What else can we get? Mining productivity. Let's get that. Rocket fuel is also a blue science. Let's do some more blue science stuff. Uh, so we get it out of the way. Breaking force, uh, means your trains need less distance to stop. So we'll go ahead and get that. I don't typically take that. That's actually one of the things on my channel. I was like, I do that the last research of all, all, because it doesn't really matter. Not in what we're doing with things. All right, rocket fuel is the thing we're going to need later, but we do need it to get the Covarex enrichment process. So let's go ahead and uh, queue that one up. Oh, it is queued. That's right. Okay. Yep. Mm. Never mind. Brain. Stop. Okay. Advanced material processing leads to purple science, which is great. We need electric furnaces, but later. They are the same speed as um, steel furnaces but they use electric power instead of uh, combustion. So you don't need like uh, coal to fuel them. However, they do draw a lot of electricity and you really should only use them if you're like out in the boonies and you don't have the fuel or, and that's not really an excuse because they're burner things like the furnaces are super, super fuel efficient. So these should really only be used when you have productivity modules. But since we're needing to get it for purple science, let's go ahead and get that. And then we have beautiful things. Logistics three, which are blue belts. We have automation three, which are yellow machines. Covarex, which is awesome, but takes a lot of science. 1500 science packs, um, uh, nuclear fuel reprocessing. We have the productivity module threes and then beacons. Beacons are great. Um, but anyway, after this, I think we're probably hopefully going to get this, uh, but we'll try anyway. Let's go and get some undergroundies and then connect the rest of those pieces to, to the science. Did I put in? Uh, no, I didn't. looks like I don't have assembly machines. Yes, I do. Uh, apparently I do, but I don't have any because the bots are not getting them to me. Damn it, bots. Oh, because we don't have any. Why not? Oh, green chips. Okay. Well, that's a problem. That's a tiny problem. Uh, yeah, everything is stopped because of a lack of green chips. This is really definitely unideal. I'm going to get these because we need the green chips for those. And then I'm going to go and find some undergroundies. All right, let's get these going here. They don't need many either to function. You'd think that maybe like a complicated process, like, I don't know, making stuff would take a lot of green chips. Apparently it doesn't. Very simple computers on those. 
And I'm surprised. Do, do, do locomotives take green chips? Yeah, they do. Good. Yeah, because locomotives have, have a lot of computers on them these days. That's a thing. Okay, let's walk down here. We can actually increase, uh, if we put concrete down, it's 140% versus 130. I don't know if that's worth it. But we could do refined concrete, which needs steel plate, concrete, sticks, and water. That will give us 150% walking speed. But I'm thinking we can just go for spider trons instead. They're a lot more expensive to make, but they're definitely faster. Very fast. Okay. Okay, now we have these. This should be three away. I'm going to try to do that properly on the blueprint, I think. So we have red and green chips for the first one. See, this is why I like to have green chips closer because we use a lot of them. I should have changed the order of stuff. I just did it in what we were building order, as in we did iron, then copper, then green chips, but I should have done it better, I think. Okay, this these are reds here, I think. I hope they are. I hope they are. Let's just check. Just make sure. Why? Oh, we're, yeah, because we're lacking green chips, that's why. Yep, between the coal and the plastic, we have the red chips. Okay, so that's going there. Then we need steel and batteries. Oops. I hate when I do that because then you got to replace it. Uh, okay. Can't believe I never calculated that max distance before. That's so silly of me. Because it should just be automatic that you calculate that. Okay, so those are now functioning. This is kind of great. We're getting the um, low density structures, which is also very nice. Looks like we're lacking a lot of yellow inserters, which these are my bots. Look at this. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh my God, we have bots. Oh, I had some after all. I don't, oh, they must've been delivered. That's cool. That's super nice. Okay, so um, the way you do that, I think it's, is it F5 or F4? No, F4. Okay, F4. It's under the show player robots. That's how, how you get these like yo-yo strings from them. That's what that's from. So that is pretty cool. Okay, did we ever make the power armor? We did. Wow, we never used it. All right, so let's take out everything from the old armor and take out the old armor and we'll put on the new power armor. It has a lot more grid space, you'll notice. Uh, there we go. And, um, yay. Okay, so, but later, oh, now we have to recharge the whole suit again, but that's okay. No worries. We'll get it. Um, there's also Power Armor Mark II, which has an even bigger, um, area, a grid. I would like to get the reactor. Where is it? This one, ah, we need yellow science for. Okay, that's fine. It is fine. We'll, we'll get it eventually. Let's see. What else are we needing here? Yellow science is now currently lacking flying robot frames. Oh, because we haven't done any of this. Okay. Um, yeah, right. Uh, we need to connect the lubrication as well. Where do we have that nearest? It is here. Oh, it's just up here. Nice. I'll just take it down then. Okay. All right, there we go. And so then we're going to be able to get some of these guys working on stuff, which is great. But yeah, we need, let me check on, I, well, I guess we can check on it from here. Are we actually get, we're getting copper. Look at this. Oh, look at this river of copper. Fantastic. Oh, that's that's just wonderful. That is just wonderful. So that means we're getting full lines of copper coming down here. Wait, why is this one not working? This one? Ah, because the belt is the wrong way. Eh. Have the bots fix that one. But now we're getting much more copper on the lines here. 
Uh, how is that affecting green circuits? Looks like very, very little is getting to green circuits. Why is that the case? Oh, we don't have any inserters there. That's not good. That is definitely not good. Um, it looks like we might be getting a little bit more green circuits, but it's not really uh, going that well. We definitely need these inserters. Maybe I handcraft inserters. This is terrible. This is desperate now. This is desperate. We're handcrafting inserters. No. Help. Help. I'm going to turn off my bots real quick so that I get those inserters placed exactly where I want them, which is going to be on the copper smelting. That's the most important place to put these right now. Also, these guys can also go, but they need iron, which we, we haven't hooked up yet. So let's hook those up. And let's get these inserters placed here. So turn on the bots now. And they're going to place these inserters. Oh, this is so nice. We don't have a lot, but we have some. We can help you a little bit. We're trying. We're trying. I should have hand placed them because sometimes they're placing in and sometimes out. And they're not matching necessarily. They're, they're not correlated. So that's not good. Okay, so now we do have a full line of copper coming in here. So let's take uh, this here and do something like this. There we go. I think that's what we want. Right? Yes. Yes. No, no, that's not what we want. No, actually what we could do is do a, one of these and just shove it to the left, left priority. Yep. So then we get the green chips going on here. So now we take these and those can go there and then again, split there. Ah, this is so nice. But these are going on very slow belts. So that's not ideal. But it's okay. We're Let's go ahead and upgrade these belts here to something better. I just want to do the middle belts. <laughs> I realize like this is a very long way to upgrade belts. So let's just do the middle belts here. Because uh, it's a lot of belts. It's a lot of belts. Okay, so now we have stuff somewhat sorted. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do output priority right. And then do each splitter doing that. Just fill up these belts to the right. And that way we're going to get stuff actually moving along. Look at the amount of green chips. This is fantastic. Oh, this is going to be nice. Going to be nice. Bots are happy. Everybody's happy. Why do we have no mining productivity? Probably because we don't have green chips. <laughs> we do now though. We do actually have them now. So that's great. That's wholesome and good and all the things and nice. Yay. How many belts are in here? Oh, not that many. But soon, soon we shall have them. Soon we shall have the things we need. And we'll be able to put buffer chests in the belt, belt uh, factory and life will be better. Uh, also this, oh, we need to turn on personal logistics, I realized. Yep, okay. Very good. Get that stuff out of the inventory. Let's go and work on, actually, we can go and grab some assembly machines, maybe. Maybe there's some, we'll see. We will see. But yeah, faster bot speed. We should have done that a while back, but I kind of forgot about it. There's so many things when you're playing this game, it's just like many, many things to do. What are you missing? Ah, oh, you're missing also green chips. Okay. But now we should be getting some. Hmm. There we go. We are getting some now. So also what I want to do on that is I do want to upgrade these lines. That might help us a little bit. Let's get this upgrade planner. Just upgrade all the yellow belts in the boutique. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, 
and upgrade these as well. Because that's kind of needed. Well, maybe not needed, but it will help uh, stuff move better. How are we doing down in yellow science? We are progressing. We just need um, a few assembly machines. Let me let me make some by hand. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the robo port as well so that when I make them, we can I'm just going to grab also some copper and iron and make some more. Uh, important just to start the process of making these engines and stuff so that we can get a few of those science packs just to gently feed the labs and all the things and all the stuff because that's important. Okay, that's important because that's a prerequisite product. And then let's make one of these and then one of these. Wow, we don't have inserters either. Holy fuzzy cats. All right, well, let's make some inserters then. I'm going to grab some more copper and iron, turn off the logistics so that I can grab more in my inventory. I think they took a lot uh, from when I grabbed a whole bunch earlier. There we go. Let's just make all of them, shall we? All. Shift click is all. Now we're actually crafting green circuits. <laughs> That's bad. Okay, let's. we can afford another one of these. And a couple more of these. Okay, that's fine, but definitely need the yellow inserters. So I'm just going to hand place these just to make sure they go in the right spot. And then I'm going to do the ones for these guys. Yep, there we are. And make sure these guys, the ones that are placed, have inserters. Okay, these guys are okay. So now I'll turn on the bots so they can place more, more inserters and things. Oh god, they're crawling back. They want energy. Help. Oi. And this poor suit, just powered by solar panels. Oh, sad times. By the way, the gap in the belt here is very intentional. Just make sure you don't, like, write over, like, oh, yeah, we need to connect that. No, you don't. Don't connect that. It's not for connecting. It's not a connection thingy. Do not. You know? Okay, so here we go. We are actually going to place some of these engines on the belt. What I could do, I could be really sneaky and go up here to robot creation. Do we, why are we not, oh, we don't have enough of those, but we could actually just grab a whole bunch of these electric engines and take them down there. Take them down to yellow science and then shove them in these robot thingy thingies. Where did they go? Hello? Were they? No, they weren't. They couldn't have been taken out. Oh, there they are. Yep. They're, they look different than they used to. There we go. Cool. So all these now have thingies and stuff. Okay. It looks like we need another power pole at the end of yellow science. Let me write that down. Power pole at the end of yellow science. Okay. Oh, I should put flying robot frames. Okay. Alrighty, we are making things and stuff. Things are happening. Oh my god, there they go. The robot frames are on the belt right now. And they are going into yellow science land. Have we actually gotten any yet? No, not yet. How many do they need? One. They just need one flying robot frame. I, I like this because it produces three utility science packs. So are they like getting... Some kind of like torch uh, splitting laser machine to like cut these robot <laughs> frames in parts to put in these beakers. I don't know how that works. Anyway, um, I think we've come to the end of our episode. I've just noticed the time and it is extensive. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.